It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions, and it comes your way next. Call it Motown, call it the Motor City. To Lions fans, this is home. They are competing against one another, and I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off-seasons. A lot of times they're friends, but come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win, but when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this off-season. The punter, Jack Fox, handling the kickoffs. And off we go from Ford Field. He'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. One of the Heisman, he's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. The term generational talent, Mike, it gets thrown around. I feel a little bit too loosely these days, but you could argue. If there's one guy worthy of that description, it's Williams. I mean, only time's going to tell how accurate it is, but when you watch him play, it becomes abundantly clear. This guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. Your own talent, obviously. But it's the ability to make those off-script plays right in the midst of chaos that make him such an interesting prospect. You know what the best part is, though, Mike, really? We get a first-hand look to see exactly how he's developing over these next couple hours. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Another run here. Another run by Smith. And he'll take this up to the 30. Uh, pick up a five. Here now, third and five. Third down, it's Williams from the gun. Ten yards, the gain on the pitch and catch. First down, Chicago. This is the connection that Bears fans have been dreaming about since these two guys were drafted in this previous spring's draft. I mean, they think they have one of the more formidable young quarterback wide receiver duos in the entire league. Williams, first overall pick. Adunze, number nine. The future looks bright in Chicago. taken down but they are in business inside the 30 yard line well they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air and that's exactly what they wanted to do generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points unbalanced look here to the right side on first and 10 Play fake. Now Williams. Brian by the tight end. Full to back. He's taken down just shy of the 10. Talk about a thing of beauty. Mike, did you see how many tight ends were on the field on that last play? They call it 13 personnel because there's one running back, three tight ends, one wide receiver. So everybody on defense is thinking run. They catch him off guard a little with the pass. And they take advantage of it in a big game downfield. exactly the way they scripted this one a beautiful opening drive greg able to find the end zone on the game's first possession and mike the word that comes to mind looking at that drive is execution and that's exactly what they talked about all week long they wanted to come out early in this game and establish an early rhythm and that's exactly what they did with that touchdown drive
Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. It's up and good. And the Bears will take a 7-0 lead. his name during the playoffs in 2023 in Detroit. Far cry from the trade from the Rams to the Lions, second in the league in passing a season ago. Truth be told, we might be talking about one of the most disrespected quarterbacks in the entire NFL. I mean, he's constantly talked about as if he's some fringe NFL starter, despite the fact, Mike, that he's been the focal point for a team that has completely turned things around since his arrival. Now, I don't know if we would classify him as this, like, elite super talent, but there's no denying this guy is a winner, and if he's under center, you got a great chance. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. We'll find Montgomery out of the backfield. Goes brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. He'll set up the screen to Montgomery. The screen works for 10 yards and a first down. The best time to call a screen is when the defense is anticipating pass. Allow that defensive front to rush the passer. Just get through the offensive line enough before you drop it to your back. Get out behind those big offensive linemen and pick up the first down. Set to go now on first and 10. Off with the give to Montgomery. And the move this one down inside the 40-yard line. So you're on the sideline and you're watching the other team go right down the field and score on their first drive. As a play caller, you have to be careful that it doesn't throw you out of your initial plan coming into the game. They wanted to establish some ground game here early, and that's exactly what they did. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. He'll go play action with Goff. Oh, the blitz overwhelming the offensive line, and down he goes. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth. Each team trading blows, trying to establish control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack, and we're going to see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Williams in motion. Throwing on second down. Goff. Open man. It's Jamison Williams. We'll get about six before he's taken down. and long. From the gun, it's gone. Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. Sometimes you just have to know when the play is over and live to play another down. 
He has pressure coming right at him. And instead of just throwing the ball away, he tries to escape, he tries to get creative, and he ends up losing a lot more yards than he should have. So, on fourth down, the Lions send out Jack Fox to punt. The veteran DeAndre Carter deep for Chicago. They will get away from that one, and they're going to have tremendous field position. This ball hits and goes out of bounds. The Bears offense going to take over now for the second time, and they're going to hear it from this crowd. They're backed up deep as they start first and ten. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. They'll go again with Swift. Look at him stay on his feet as he's able to shimmy his way for a gain of about five. Here's a third down and four. From the shotgun, it's Williams. Got the hook up there to Ogunze. He'll be brought down, but not before they move it up past the 30-yard line. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, they've got some really good young pieces on this roster. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. And cross right side for the tight end Komet. Remember, he had the touchdown on the opening drive, and here on drive two, he gets a first down with that catch. Nice first down catch there by Cole Komet. And, Mike, I've had a chance to spend some time with him in Nashville these last couple summers and at our TEU event that I run with George Kittle and Travis Kelsey. And for a big body, for a guy who's just a large, large guy, he can really bend, he can run, he can get in and out of his break, and I think that's a big reason why as he's continued to develop, he's a very good run blocker, and he's really become that dynamic weapon they thought he would be coming out of Notre Dame just a few years ago. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Operating from the shotgun, it's William. Down the field, it's DJ Moore. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25-yard line. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Williams. He got all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. Uh, certainly one way to bounce back here defensively after giving up a huge explosive play on the previous snap to bounce back and come away with a sack. Now you find yourself in second and long. You can catch your breath, and the opportunity to get off the field has just gone up. After the loss of three in his second and 13. Here's Williams. Off he goes. Fighting for the goal line. He lost the football. It's out. Oh no. This goes through the end zone. Did he lose it now before crossing the plane? It looks like they say he did. 
So this is the rule that always brings up a lot of debate. This winds up a touchback, a turnover, and the opponents take over at the 20-yard line. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Goff. And this ball batted away. And incomplete. Amon Ross St. Brown. The receiver he was trying to target. It's second down. You know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. A second down throw for Goff. Look in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. The tight end, Sam Laporta, the intended receiver. And third down coming up. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. Out of the shot, go. It's gone. He's got his tight end, that's Laporta. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. Goff, oh, gonna get this out to St. Brown. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. carry here for Montgomery and he's not going to get away they'll knock him back to his own territory they get him on the other side of midfield and this is a great example of why it's so important on defense to sprint to the ball his ability to make people miss is hard for one guy to get him on the ground but when you can get everybody to the ball eventually you can take him down and in this case they do it for a loss from the gun on third down it's gone he's going to look Here's Jack Fox now. He's on for the second time. He'll try to get something inside the tent. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. They'll come up here, first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he'll be taken down, and that's going to do it. That's the last play of the first quarter. We are through one. Seven-nothing is our score. And we are back to the Motor City in a moment. Here's second and six. They'll go play action here with Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I 
don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at, when that defender's bearing down, you really get a good idea of what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch, and in this case, what guys are under. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. On fourth down, here's the rookie, the Aussie, fourth round pick, Tory Taylor, to punt for Chicago. Deep for the Lions, Holly Freeman. A fair catch. He's going to call it and take it right around his own 30-yard line. The Lions offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On first down, it's gone. To get this complete, it's Williams over the middle. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. These hitch routes, they're usually just designed to pick up a few safe yards. An easy completion, get some rhythm for your quarterback. Well, this time, he's able to make a little magic happen after the catch and turn it into something much bigger than even they were probably anticipating. Off to throw on first down. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looked like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? separation that time tightly defended it brings up fourth down i'm not going to sit here mike and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion but can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there i mean i think that ball is over 60 yards in the air and i would be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those and we will not have a return here this one angle out of bounds the Bears offense ready to get back to work. They lead it here in the second quarter, 7-0, as they begin with a first and 10. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. On first and 10, it's Williams. That's complete connect with the catch. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Here's first and ten. They'll run in Swift. He'll it forward for maybe a yard. Jack Campbell, the former first-round pick, there to wrap him up. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. Here's second and nine.
to throw. It's Williams. And he's caught downfield by Odunze. That pickup, good for 29 yards. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. He can still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. Had a good throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. He was looking to get it to D.J. Moore. And it's going to be third down. At this level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup. Off target, off rhythm, and ends up getting away from it. And that is incomplete. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So. Can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. Santos's kick is good. And the Bears will extend to a 10-0 lead. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. So the lead is now 10-0 as this kicks away. Here's Craig Reynolds to return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Lions offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. And nothing doing from the offense just yet. Down 10-0 as they come up with first and 10. Throwing, Goff, he'll get that into the hands of Williams. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. <laughs> to throw is Goff. Right back to Williams. They connect again. Gonna be a first down. A pickup of nine. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is gonna pick up the rest after the catch. All right, first and ten, it's Montgomery. And he's gonna be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. And that's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. Williams in motion. On second down, gone. This throw taken in by Amonra. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run-after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And 
These drag routes can be very, very effective. That's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Goff to throw. Oh, he left side. And it's taken in by the goal. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. That is such a critical area on the field, Mike, between the hash marks and the numbers. Everyone wants to control the middle of the field. Every offense is targeting. So what does the defense do? They really pack it. So for a quarterback to be able to put this ball out on the perimeter, it just really stresses these defenses, especially in their coverage. That is a gain of 20. What a chance now. First and goal coming up. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now, this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. First and goal, and here's Montgomery to the five-yard line. Here now, second down, and goal. One more time with Montgomery. And this time, he will work his way into the end zone. David Montgomery, touchdown Lions. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finish it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return it's Tyler Scott and their drive will begin at the 30 yard line the Bears offense ready to come back out for this next possession they lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's 
It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They will run it over center with Swift. And a nice game there on first down. He takes it forward for eight yards. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Off play action. Here's Williams. This one is complete along the sideline. Very nice job to fit that ball in. It'll be a modest game. The best guys I've been around, Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in balance. Cross right side for the tight end for that. And he can't get away. They rally with the football on defense and bring him down for no game. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, is they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. And no chance to down this one. It carries deep into the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. They'll bring St. Brown in motion. On play action. Goff. To the right side, that's St. Brown. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. They'll try again here, second and ten. From the gun, it's gone. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down in bounds. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate. And the receiver does a nice job, not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Out of the shotgun. It's gone. Into the hands of the receiver, Patrick. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike. And it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page. And the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry, because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it-best play call. His second grab on this drive, good for 11 yards, but most importantly, a first down. That last completion is going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. Oh 
second and 11. Throwing here is Goff. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. Catch is made. That is Williams. He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. comes Jake Bates to try a field goal here. This one from 39 yards out. Bates' kick is good. The Lions will tie this game up here late in the first half. And that's really well done here, Mike. I mean, everything's in rhythm. A good snap, a good hold, and a good kick ties this game up. this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. Out comes the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, and the rest of the Chicago offense. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. Spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Here's Williams on first and ten. For the former charger, Gerald Everett. And he'll be marked down at the 45 yard line. First and ten. Working out of the gun. Here's Williams. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find the receiver. And down he goes. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. One final throw before the break. Left side by Ogunza. Well, that looked like a pretty clear hold. The game was five, but let's check the call. So, we have reached halftime here in this one. As we'll send you down to Orlando now, we're Jonathan Coachman as our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports Studios and our Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Could not ask for more from that first half. All even as we begin quarter number three. Two returning, it's Dorsey. Be brought down past the 25 piece of field position to start this drive. The Lions offense gonna have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They'll see if they can go about breaking our tie. We're all even at 10, 
as this drive begins first and ten. Incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes and that ball falls incomplete. Into space at the 45. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield we see so many wide receivers in today's NFL that almost resemble more of a running back style when they get the ball in their hands not only are they able to pick up big yards they're able to fight through tackles and make people miss that's an element that a lot of offenses are searching for it takes a lot of pressure off the quarterback so they come to the line for first down and ten Goff to throw over the middle, taken in by LaPorta. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. Goff gives it to Gibbs. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. They'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down. Throwing, Goff. Open man is the tight end right. And he's going to have a Lions first down. He has it by plenty. They keep the drive alive here on third and inches. Third and inches, you see a lot of teams try to take a shot. Why, Mike? Because they know on fourth and inches, they still have a chance to convert the first down. The shot wasn't there, but they're still able to pick up a nice game and convert and bring up first down. Here's Goff. That's over the middle, but it's incomplete. One of those plays where you like the idea, you just don't like the execution. I didn't feel the quarterback was overly comfortable in the pocket. Footwork, a little bit sloppy. All of a sudden now the pass is a little less accurate and an opportunity for a big shot. You end up falling short. Williams in motion. Throwing on second down. Goff. That's right side and brought in by Williams. Here's a third and ten. Now Goff. to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Certainly not one of his better throws, but what I've loved out of this quarterback today, Mike, was just how aggressive he's remained throughout the entire course of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Even if it falls incomplete, it opens up everything else in this passing game, and they've had their way so far today. He is two for two. That kick is good. The Lions going to take the lead. It's now 13 to 10. Job number one on this drive, find a way to get the lead. They, of course, would have loved to score a touchdown. Like, the three points here, that's a pretty good consolation prize as it moves them out in front. Both 
teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Scott now on the return. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. Out comes Caleb Williams and the rest of this Bears offense. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. So here's a first and ten now. They'll start from the 24. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. On throw here, right side, falls incomplete. He was looking for Keenan Allen on that one. And it'll lead to a second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, the quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. On third down, it's William. He'll try and get there on the ground. Can't beat those legs. 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner. Picks up the first down. On first down, it's Swift. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. They'll go play action here with Williams. Going to look deep, looking for more. I think it's one of those cases where he just tried to put a little bit too much on it and fit it into that window, Mike, and sails it high. Give his guy a chance to bring that one down. Put that ball on his chest and help him secure that catch. At this level, when you're that open, that ball has to be completed. Third and short yardage, and here's William. That's caught outside. It's complete. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. There are three tight ends here on first and ten. Throwing again. Williams. That's to the tight end, Komet. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. We'll come up now for second down and four. A run here with Swift. He'll get the first down there, a pickup of about five yards. A 
give up the middle with Swift. Now, flag comes in. It was thrown by the umpire. The pickup is four, but usually that's a holding penalty. so far on this drive, Mike, and what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same. There's no tells, so they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook, and so far they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught, and he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up fourth down and on that third down they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page and now brings up fourth down he is two for two that kick is good and the bears will tie the game here in the third quarter so touchdowns are always the primary goal of every drive. But when you find yourself down three here in the second half, you've just got to find a way to tie the game up. And they were able to do that here. So the field goal ties things up. And we're back at it as this kicks away. Reynolds now on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now headed back onto the field. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Williams in motion. On first and ten. Here's Goff. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, with great, great separation downfield, but now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. A second down throw for Goff. This one caught by Patrick. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Here's third and two. They'll try and run it here with Montgomery. Call it a game of 13. Good for a Lions first down. Well, after not having much success in the first half, they're able to get something going on the ground here to start the third quarter. I'd love to see the play caller mix in some play action, mix in some pass game. That should open up some of these holes for better situations to run the ball. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. From the gun, it's Goff. Going left side, and it's taken in by Williams. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. They'll come up here on second down and five. 
to throw is gone. Catch is made by Wright. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. It's gone. He's got his tight end. That's the corner. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. On first down, it's gone. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and 10. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Goff to throw on first down. A throw left side, but it's incomplete. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided, even before seeing the coverage, where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. Here's a handoff to Montgomery. Open space inside the 10. The speed on display. He's in. David Montgomery. Touchdown Detroit. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. That just feels like a big drive, doesn't it, Mike? Here in the second half, you got a tie ball game. Now you're able to get out in front. Let's see how this other team responds having to play from behind. We got a ton of time, Greg, but a little momentum feel. Come out of the locker room, take the lead. Now it's up to the other team to climb uphill. So great way, perfect way to get this second half started. Bates, good, with the extra point. And the Lions will go up by seven. team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away DeAndre Carter on the return and he is stopped at the 25 the drive will begin there the Bears offense and Caleb Williams set to take over once more and this defense has got to be at its wit's end trying to come up with a way to keep him contained he's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go He's turned a number of those into big plays. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and ten. Here's a handoff to Swift. And showing a little versatility as he takes this one forward up to the 34. A pickup of nine. A good spot here, second and a yard. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. He'll get this underneath to Swift. Swift. 
So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. On the give, here's Swift. Look at him move away from a tackler as he winds up gaining seven yards. Nice run there. Second down and three. Now Swift and his defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. So we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here we go. Bird and a yard. They'll run here. And it looks like he's got enough for the first down. Let's wait for the mark. Yes, that run, that's enough to move the chains. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Open space to the 35. Oh, what a run. Down inside the 30-yard line. There's a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Set to go now on first and ten. Over the middle, that's Kamak. And he'll be taken down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And they'll get him down right around the five-yard line. The receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about, so they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. Good blocking, and he's in. Caleb Williams. Touchdown, Chicago. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. A huge touchdown there in the fourth quarter, and now just a point away from tying the game. And that's one of those drives, Mike, where you know your best is needed. Can you come through here late and give your team a chance? They're an extra point away from tying this thing up, and we got ourselves a ball game. So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The kick is good, and that will tie this game here in the fourth quarter. in store in the remaining time. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The home team's offense ready to take over possession of the football. This game all even now following that touchdown a moment ago, and they'll look to retake the lead on this drive, which starts with first down.
They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Goff going to throw here on first and ten. Quick throw here is complete. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. here is gone. He tosses it over the middle. This one is caught. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. So the best thing this wide receiver is able to do here, Mike, on this crossing route is once he gets the ball in his hands, he's able to put his foot in the ground and get vertical. So often you see these guys get strung out sideline to sideline and they're not able to pick up big yards after the catch. So really nice job here and it leads to a big game. They'll keep it on the ground. And they'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Here's Goff. Quick throw, taken in, and they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. Thrown left side, the catch is made. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Throwing on second down. Go. but the ones you get in the fourth quarter, they are the ones that feel a little more important. Yeah, now that pressure shifts to your defense, your offense was able to go out and get the lead here late. Does your defense have enough left in them to get one more stop? Bates now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Lions will go up by seven. So the lead is seven now here in this fourth quarter. The tie has been broken. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The visitors offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll run. And he's shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. The 3-4 defense, Mike, is predicated on the big man over the center. The nose tackle. He's big. He's strong. He takes up the entire middle of the defense, and that's exactly what we just saw in that play. He makes the stop for no game. They'll stick to the ground. And 
he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. to just throw it away. A fair catch taken, and they're going to start right at their own 20-yard line. The home team's offense headed back to take over once more. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. They'll work now on second and four. Goff to throw. That's a short one. Caught by the corner. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Really nice job here by the quarterback. Understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver. Pick up a first down. Now, stop. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. You hear quarterback coaches say it all the time. Let's get our guy easy completions. Well, that falls certainly into that category, Mike. But when you fail to connect on those, it just ends up being a wasted down. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Back to the air. It's got. Looking middle of the field. It's complete. We'll get about six before he's taken down. They go five receivers for third down and four. To throw is gone. And this ball incomplete on third down. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. Great linebackers stand out from the pack 
is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings him right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. On third down, it's Williams. chase him down and bring him down for a second. The Bears sending out their punt team. We forced a punt trailing here in the fourth quarter. Fair catch will be taken here. It is right at the 40-yard line. The home team's offense ready to take over once again. They'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's Goff. inside the 20. They certainly wasted no time trying to take advantage of that great field position, and I love it. So often we see teams either in sudden change or when they have a shorter field to go, they want to strike early. There is such a correlation in the NFL, Mike, between explosive plays and your ability to end drives with points. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On first and ten, here's Goff. It's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. So instead of celebrating a touchdown, he's just heading back to his huddle, trying to keep his head up as everyone kind of looks at him sideways. If that ball hits your hands at this level, you've just got to make the catch. That's what your quarterback's counting on. That's what your teammates are counting on. Frankly, that's what this entire stadium is counting on. They hand it to Gibbs. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. It is third and ten. They'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Just a couple plays ago, Mike, it felt like a touchdown was kind of inevitable. They were doing everything they wanted as they marched the length of the field. And then as they got down here close to the red zone and that field condenses, they started getting sloppy in their execution. Now, what do they do on fourth down? Do they try to keep their offense out there and extend the drive? Or do they settle for three? And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Harder on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here and everything starts with the rush the quarterback's uncomfortable the clock gets sped up he's got guys in his face 
It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Williams going to look to throw it on first down. That's caught left side by Odunze. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. Two timeouts still left, but scoring quickly here, a must. It's first and ten. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. On the out, connected with Allen. Second and six coming up. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. Pass complete to Moore on the right side. Tevin Jenkins. The man calls for the flag. Throwing on second down, Williams. That's a short throw, caught by Clement. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the back side of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by him, there is a lot of space open underneath. So this offense, they think this is a prime opportunity to go for it through the air on fourth down. But this defense was having none of it. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. No easy completions. And this defense forces a huge stop on fourth down. The Lions offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. We'll have a short field in front of them as they try to extend this lead out further. Here's first and ten. They're going to run out of the gun with Gibbs. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. with the give to Montgomery. He'll take this for a couple, but the official signal, he has enough first down. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. 